in their last game, Team Unglaublich rallied for an emotional come from behind win and squeaked into the playoffs. Big win for the Ledge, yeah, yeah. The ledge pulled it off. Happy, happy about that. We needed it. We needed it. I needed it. Ledge needed it. So what happened to Cougar before the last game? I was being interviewed at the time, and then all of a sudden I, I heard him screaming, and I ran, and he he was injured by someone. Basically, I got caught up in a domestic violence situation, and it, it makes your self-esteem, makes you feel like you're this tall. Cougar's a nice guy and everything, but you know, he, he was killing us. That one game when we had to play before noon and Cougar was still in Cougar PM mode or whatever he was in, it was horrible. I'll be honest, running this team this year, it's been like running a freak show. Every, t every now and then you want to throw somebody off the circus, if you know what I mean. Was I the one that hit him? No. <laughs> I was with the spiritual healer, you know what I mean? Okay, I was getting some spiritual healing. <laughs> uh, a cougar's injury? Me? No, not at all. I have this triad theory between uh, Krob and then uh, Bobby Ledge and, uh, and Owen. They've been hating on me all year. You saw how Owen tried to make out with me last week, and that was, that was a sheer cover-up move. It was a guilty move. Um, I would have loved to kiss him, usually, but I could tell things were not right. His tongue was very limp. When he cupped my balls, that was not uh, not very kosher to me. He was kind of like, you know, very weak grip. So I knew right away. You know, the team they're they're focusing on the game, which is which is fine. But I felt it necessary to to focus on what's going on. Something really bad happened, and so I I hired a detective. What are you investigating? A certain delegation of some uh, animal abuse or something like that. Animal abuse. A liger or a cougar. I'm here to find out who's done it. In. Didn't you say you'd be back playing by now? Yeah, I mean, I could, I could play. It's fine, but the surgeon wants to give me clearance before I go play, which kind of pisses me off. I mean, who made him God? And you know, he told me if I played and I ripped it out, he'd do it again, but he wouldn't give me any pain meds. So, and I actually went uh, to the Quest X Yellow Pages, looked under. Um, well, it said crackheads, and then it said sea faith healers. Smoke some opium and I think I'm ready to go. So assuming nothing tore, it's probably gonna bleed quite a bit into the joint. Um, that's pretty painful. You know that cougar's a human, don't you? I, I think he's more like an animal, what I understood between my client and me. If he's a human, he's a human. I want you to tell me how it all began. How it all began? Well, this situation. Well, about six billion years ago, there was a... Not that situation. No, no, the, the current situation. You getting banged up. All right, well, yeah. Um, well, where does it start? Well, I started playing basketball in second grade. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Does your husband know you hired an investigator? No, he doesn't. Um, he's so busy with work, and, you know, I didn't want to trouble him with all of that, so I just took it upon myself. Does Cougar's injury hurt the team? Oh, I think it helps the team. You know, it's one less person to take the ball away from Ledge. Shelby helps me up, and she gets me up to the gym, and Ross, you know, he made sure that nothing was... Did, did he touch you? It wasn't life-threatening. Did he touch me? Yeah, sure he touched me. Where did he touch you? Did he touch you here? Um, yeah. Did he touch you here? Yeah, he, did, he was checking out my appendix, actually. And did he touch you there? Well, he made a move for it, but uh, I was too quick. I think I led the team with assists during the regular season, but now isn't the time for assists. You know, did Magic Johnson ever have an assist in the playoffs? I don't think so. I beat cancer, so if I can't come back from a little bump on the knee, I mean, Nancy Kerrigan came back not too long after and won silver in the Olympics. Very similar situation. How about you? So you what is this, eight games off in a row? Eight games off from him? The tournament. How's, How's that knee? How's that knee? How's that knee? I don't know. I, Ledge should write a book someday. Ledge on Ledge. Uh -huh. I'd write it very legibly, of course, you know. I, I beat cancer. Um, I was a medical miracle. Broke every record for treatment uh, Rochester ever had. When, when I die, they want me to give my body to science. And, you know, I said, well, it's going to be $6 million. But, uh, you know, we'll work it, out, work it out with my mom or something. Decided that Cougar's back in the lineup. I think we're gonna really use his, we're gonna, I think his, his kind of slowness and intoxication that he normally brings to the table is gonna be helpful. It's gonna be good. Somebody up there likes me, but a lot of people down here hate me, so 
That's right where the barbell hit me. And that's you hit the, with a barbell? Yeah, that's that's where all my power is coming from right now. This little red spot on my knee. It's kind of like my Harry Potter scar. I don't think you should play. I mean, seriously. What, I'm... Wingardium Leviosa. The night before the game, a record snowfall occurred. And despite local meteorologists absolutely nailing the forecast, the team was caught off guard. We got a storm in the century out there. We got like 12 inches of snow. Half the team couldn't make it. Duty calls, so I'm suiting up. Okay, man. If you think it's all right, we need you. Snowstorm, man. Snowstorm. Storm of the century. One, two, three. Glory. Shoot that, guys! Dick's on the dirt in the three. One, two, three. Dick's in the dirt! Mine usually is, because it's so big, you know? Who's hungry? Who's playing hungry? There we go, man. There we go, There you go, Bobby Ledge. Tie ball game, baby. Tie ball game. Get the board, get the board, get the board. You don't need to. No board allowed. That was the most awkward fast break in the history of intramural basketball. We can beat these guys. We're smarter than these guys. We got more legs than these guys. All right? Get it back. Get it back on three. One, two, three. Get, Get it back. back. Oh. Oh, baby, ledge. I want you to leave your lung on the court if you have to. Can you do that for me? I want to see a big, fat, oily lung on the court at the end of the game. Oh, we got to get body on that. Oh, oh. Give me the they, got a, they got a goon inside. We need to play tough with him. Do not fall down. They are not going to give us a start. No, we're not. not top All right? Them inside. We can win this thing. Darn right, we're going to win. Let's go. All right, win on three. One, two, three, win! win. Good reverse. Good shot, Krabble. Was rather anticlimactic, but I mean, we played well for fighting through a snowstorm to get here. And so you're going to the toilet bowl game next week. Do you have anything left to play for? Oh, you always you play for pride, man. You play because you love the game. It's simple. That's not a hard question. I mean, it, there doesn't always have to be a championship on the line or a T-shirt to to love basketball and play well. I mean, I I don't care who you play next week. I don't care if it's the worst team in the league. We're gonna come out here and we're gonna play hard. And Probably lose. I don't know. We're gonna come out here. We're gonna play well. Did you guys play well as a team? I was. I was playing great as a team. I just need teammates to play great as a team. I saw you over here. I saw the check to the detective. Whatever the guy is here. Do you even care about me? Of course I do. Why do you think I come here all the f***ing time? Why not for me. What's wrong with you? What are you trying to do? What's wrong with you? I have been your biggest fan from day one. I'm pissed out. Get, get the camera out of here. I'm done with this. Okay, get it out of here. You can take the car and go home. I'm gonna hang out here. I think losing sucks. That's what I think. It's over. It's done. I'm out of here. Things are over. It's done. It's done. If you want her, you can have her. If Cougar wants her, you can have her. You can have everything. I'm leaving. Joey! When it all boils down to it after everybody's done arguing and stuff, this is life, man. Sometimes you, you don't get to pick your team. Either the internet votes on it or your boss picks your coworkers or, you know, you're, you're born with your sister or brother. You can't change that stuff. You just got to make do with it. The more you whine, that doesn't change anything. You just got to deal with it. Get up out of bed and, and make something happen, man. It's as simple as that. It's just the way it is. Da, 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 da.